3D printing gets an unfair reputation as only being used to create useless trinkets, but in this video, I'll show you some real world problems that were solved with 3D printing. If you're like me, you have a few things cluttering up your desk. Luckily, this next 3D print will help with that. This desk organizer is customizable with different options to meet your organizational needs. First, I'm going to start off by printing the base for the organizer. I opted to go with the 4x2 version. Next, it's time to print the memory card organizer and the small tray. These are the two shorter components, so they will go at the front of the base. And lastly, we have the phone holder and the pen holder. These two components are taller than the last two, so they will go at the back of the base we printed earlier. Now that all the pieces are printed, it's time to put it all together. Here it is all put together and in a second I'm going to show you how it transformed my desk. Just as a reminder, here is all the clutter that I had. And now we're going to organize it. Definitely a big improvement. Lately, the bulkiness of my wallet has been annoying me. So once I came across this design, I knew I had to make it. It can hold everything I need in a smaller package, and let's be honest, it looks pretty cool doing it. After loading the file into Cura, it was time to print. And here we have it. I printed it in PETG filament so it would hold up better in the long run. Definitely a lot less bulky than my wallet before. Now let's try it out. The video on the left is the demo video from the creator and the right is me testing it out. It really does work as advertised. As you can see, it's a massive improvement on the bulkiness. The next problem we're going to be solving has to do with this punching bag and this little cap right here. The punching bag base needs to be filled with water for weight, but the hole to fill it is relatively small. And that's where the funnel comes in. With a funnel, I could use a 5 gallon bucket to fill the base and make the process much quicker. After slicing the file, we were ready to print. And here we have our finished product. The funnel fits into the hole perfectly and now I don't have to worry about making a mess while I'm pouring the water in. I was painting a room recently and unfortunately an outlet cover got damaged after it had been taken off the wall. I was prepared to pay the dollar or two to get it replaced, but then I came across this. $20 is a little bit steep for an outlet cover, but I figured there had to be a 3D printable version. Sure enough, after a little searching, I did come across one. It looked like it would work perfectly, so I downloaded the file, pulled it up in Cura, and after slicing it, we were ready to print.
And here's what it looked like after it's all finished up. Now the only thing left to do is install it. You just have to screw it in using the screw from the old outlet cover. And here it is after it's been installed. As you can see, it keeps the wires out of the way and the shelf itself keeps Alexa device off the counter, which frees up some valuable space. I've been known to misplace a vacuum attachment every now and again, but this next file makes that an issue of the past. Now if I ever lose one, I can just print a new one. It's fully customizable so you can tailor it to meet your cleaning needs. I figured I'd go out of the box on this one and print this really long skinny one that can reach in narrow spaces. And this is what it looks like once it's all finished up. And here it is in action, sweeping up some sawdust. I'll get right into it on this last one. I think we've all dealt with this issue before. You set a drink down and when you pick it up, you notice there's a nice ring of water still there. We don't want to leave a water ring on any of those surfaces, so let's find a 3D print to fix that. I thought this coaster design was very fitting, so I decided to go with that one. After a quick print, it was all done and was ready to prevent some water rings. Alright, well if you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing and as always, all the print files are linked in the description.